Uh, why the show works? Why the show works here? Why do you think this has so touched a nerve? I think it's because we are the only people out there telling moms to trust their own instincts. There are so many experts telling us how to do everything, and they're all telling us to do something different. And Sarah and I have realized, because we did everything completely opposite, that different things work for different families. Oh. So really? So when the kid was sleeping on his face and it didn't seem like he was breathing, just leave him. <laughs> and the other one, sleep on your back. Just sleep on your back. Do they hand out Valium so you can listen to this show? Oh, it's everything, mommy. Mommy, say mommy a lot. It brands the show. This is going to be my favorite show to listen to now because I love listening to stuff and watching stuff that piss me off. Yeah. Any <sighs> other clips? Yeah, this more is, of the uh, show. Question from a listener. Oh, and Dina from Charlotte, North Carolina, asks, Rumo. "How do you find the time to juggle family and a successful radio show that I never miss?" <laughs> <laughs> I've been vacuumed in about two months. Right. Uh, 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 that would explain the black eye. <laughs> they haven't vacuumed. Oh, that's, uh, that's cute. Now clean it up. <laughs> that's right. Star in the mommy show, just like your father. <laughs> Guinea brat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're unbelievable, though. That was a great job. That was funny. That was terrific. It's all about housework and yeah. being a mom and no time for anything. Bunch How do we compete with that, world? guys? How do we compete with that? We haven't. I haven't vacuumed in about two months. Right. Well, <laughs> yeah. Oh no, that could be a problem. Is right. that bad? Crawling on around in that. I have a sign in my kitchen that says, "Only dull women live in immaculate houses." Oh, right. yeah. oh where can I get that I sign? Teach that to my kids. Yes, yeah, it's a pretty good sign. Really is. Yeah. A woman from uh, Parents Magazine gave us that, and it's been in my kitchen ever since. She reprioritizes what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, Some things don't matter as much absolutely. as other things. So but uptight. it is funny. You know, sometimes we we funny. laugh because we do a lot of conference calls calls in the garage, you know, with the kids banging on the door on the other side. It's just, hold on one minute, mommy's almost done. Yeah. So where's the kids fun drowning in, in the tub. <laughs> I got a radio show to do. You watch your little brother. <laughs> Get in that man's van. He'll wash you and bring you back. <laughs> Let's go to Jeremy in Seattle. Oh, my gosh. You guys are absolutely <laughs> hysterical. I have a new character idea. I want to be the guy who listens to the show on the replay and then calls him the next day and says, dude, you guys were great with that Christine chick on the Oscars. I absolutely love you guys. I just wanted to let you know that. Thank you, Jeremy. Godspeed. Jeremy, so. are you sleepless in Seattle? <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually have a flight that leaves at 6 in the morning. It's the only reason I'm up this early. All right, man. Thank you for listening, Thank Jeremy. No problem. Thank you, guys. All right, we got one more clip from Moms on the Radio. Only a dull woman lives in an immaculate household. Right. Power J says, I have found it comforting to hear you talk about on your show about postpartum depression. Yes. I feel like I may be suffering from it myself. How long did you wait before talking to your doctor about it? These are important topics. Yes. They are. And oh, I yeah. went through postpartum depression. I um, probably waited about two to three weeks before I talked to my doctor. Mm. But I really wanted to share that experience because it was such a hard time for me. And going to the doctor and getting help was the best thing I could have done for myself or my family. Mm. So it's a hard thing, I think, for women to talk about but it's so important to talk about it because so many more people are going through it than we even realize. <laughs> I'm getting post-boredom depression listening to the uh, show. Wait. <laughs> and by the way, medically they have figured out, po here's how you avoid postpartum depression. All right, <laughs> Dr. Jimmy. <laughs> you hear that, ladies? Gulp it down. That's how you avoid postpartum depression. Open that yapper. <laughs> Swallow it and be happy uh, for it. The depression from the uh, lack of dignity goes away a lot quicker. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Than a whining little thing in a crib. It's a lot easier to it's a lot easier to hitch a ride home and wash your hair out than it is to have to deal with that for the next eighteen years. Or you could put that little blue pillow to work in the crib. <laughs> <laughs> It'll cheer you right up. I tuck it under his head and he'll go to sleep. <laughs> what were you thinking? <laughs> All right, listen. Enough. By the way, we got to get Tim, <laughs> the intern from Springfield, in here in a little while. He he, he he's got more hard-boiled eggs for us this morning. Oh, the debacle of uh, last week. We'll do it after the break. He's uh, got the hard-boiled eggs. We're going to do the hard-boiled egg eating contest at the St. Paddy's Day broadcast at the Hard Rock Cafe. A different time for the show that day. It's 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. that Friday. Mm -hmm. What is it, a week from Friday? 
Uh, I have no idea. And we're going to do karaoke and uh, mm-hmm. a lot of other things mm-hmm. at the event. It's going to be and a, the a great Mommy event. Chronicles will be joining yes, us. Yes, the Mommy on Chronicles. Stage. What song could the two moms sing? That'd probably Aww. be a fun one. Wouldn't that be fun? They come up on stage and we kick them in the gut. <laughs> kick me in the gut. I wouldn't mind if it was two radio mothers that knew how to do it right, but just the, just two dumb emailing fucking bored idiots. I would love to hear the show, though. I would love to hear the callers, the interaction with the callers. I need some you know, of that. It's more amazing that there's an audience for that type of radio. Oh, unbelievable. That's what amazes me. It amazes me when you watch these dumb uh, TV programs in the morning and you see those women in the audience uh, really, really enjoying uh, Tony Dan's and the rest of them. Yeah. And we just don't get it or understand it on any level. We, think, it is the st- we think it's horseshit. How do you think they feel about this show? Well, and I'm... they talk about strippers and hookers and loads, uh, and he yells at people when they call in. Why would uh, anyone enjoy that? Why would that? anyone enjoy that? Yeah. And they're right. We don't different know. Different strokes for different folks. That's right. Well, I wait. like to say it's a sign I have in my kitchen. And me too, especially with this headline. <laughs> Holy crap. Let's go to Peter in Massachusetts. Oh my hey, what's God. up, guys? Oh my I just had a uh, celebrity giant sighting. I was pumping gas, uh, and Rebecca Lobo, that old woman, uh, woman's basketball player, pulled up next to me. And, you know, she's really tall. She's like six and a half feet tall. And the kind of car she had, she's driving a Mini Cooper. She steps out of the thing. It's like I'm staring at a giant woman. And she's like, starts washing her uh, windshield. It's like she's washing her windshield. She's got the. Uh, Stick her hand, it like a toothbrush. She's like, it was, it was really freaking me out. I couldn't believe it. She's six and a half feet tall, though? Oh, she's huge. Yeah, that's got to be a little crazy. <laughs> but she, so the car was little. Yeah, Mini Cooper. And she was, was like, really what tall. What the fuck is this clown car with this giant horse face bitch in it? What the hell is this all about? But then she washed the window? Yeah, I know. It's a pretty lame story. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah, not bad. bad. I mean, if, you, if no, you're a window guy. All right, let's go to Jay in Jersey. Jay, what's up? Hey, what's going on, guys? Happy hey. birthday, Jimmy. Thanks. Uh, I call and let you know what they need on Moms on Radio. Instead of a hole, they need a pole. Oh, the pole. There you go. Have yeah, a guy yeah. on there to throw in his thing. There's Come on, point. girls. Take it up the ass. <laughs> right. Like he just throws in things that ruin what they're trying to do, like the hole does for a, a guy's show. <laughs> right, exactly. All right, yeah. point it out, boys. Do we have any audio of the actual show? There has to be audio floating around that someone can grab. Yeah. 